Limitless, just pwn this program and get a flag. It is found in this directory on the shell server. All right, we'll copy paste that. Here, we have our standard set group ID executable. Let's take a look at vuln.c. We have a win method, that's exciting. We'll wanna call that. We have this replace integer in array at index, which takes in an array, an index, and a value. Simply puts the value in the array at the index with no checks whatsoever. So let's hope we can use that to write outside the bounds of the array. We have an array with 666 spots. We get a value and an index. We put it in there, and then we exit. All right, that's great. So we're gonna be able to write anywhere we want in memory. Um, the problem we'll have is this array is stored on the stack, so I won't know exactly where it is, but I can get easily from its offset to the return address of main. That won't help me because we have this exit here. I can't get to the got entry for exit because, like I said, the stack is random. I don't know where that is. But I'm actually doing the replacement here in replace integer in array at index. Okay, so if we take a look at that, I'll just draw a picture here. So we have main, it has a stack frame, it has inside of it the array. The array is growing, the stack grows down in memory. So then it will have a return address It gets pushed onto the stack and then it'll call this replace method. So if we go down from the array, so I have zero down there and 665 up here. If we go down from that, some number of spots, we'll be able to replace this return address with the address of win. And then when the method finishes, it'll go back to win. And so that, that'll be my plan. Okay, so I need to figure out where, you know, how far down below this array is the index that I want. So I'll do an obj dump. And I need to look at main. Come on, main, where are you? There's win, here's main. All right, so there's the call. Here is the address of the array. So it is A78 off of the frame pointer. So now we just need to figure out what the distance is between the frame pointer and the stack pointer. So let's go back up to the beginning of the method here. So here, the same frame pointer and the stack pointer are equal. We do push, push, and then we subtract. So that means the stack pointer will be A70, A74, A78. So the stack pointer is A78 off the frame pointer at the beginning of the method. All right, so then when we're down here, this would be exactly equal to the stack pointer at the beginning of the method. But then we also have one, two, three, four more things that move that stack pointer down. So I think the return address is gonna be five slots below the array. So five slots below the array. So I'm gonna put in a negative five. Uh, the integer value, I need to figure out what that is. So obj dump, vol, we need to find win. And we need to know what that is <coughs> in decimal. Okay, so place the integer value that I want. That will be the address of win. I'm going to put it at index 5, and there we go. Here is my flag. And 400 more points.